is it okay to shower after I exercise? Again, the question is, is it okay to shower after you exercise? The answer is... I never felt this way Can't get it now, so stay Hey, how's it going guys? Dr. Kyle here again and today's episode is going to be a question that has been uh, popping up throughout my life. Um, even my my younger years, elementary years in Bacolod, this, always, this question has always popped up. And even when I went home to Bacolod, people have been asking me uh, if this question, this specific question, even family and friends have been consistently asking me this question which is, is it okay to shower after I exercise? Again, the question is, is it okay to shower after you exercise? The answer is, yes, you can definitely shower after you exercise. Number one is the reason why you wanna shower after you exercise is because of hygiene, especially with people, especially with Filipinos or people who uh, do contact sports like basketball or um, you know any kind of contact sports there's bacteria in it and bacteria bacteria or your germs live and thrive in moist or wet areas um, number two is that you want to be able to shower because you want to calm down your system it's sort of a cooling mechanism again um, you know you've even seen like basketball players they would uh, do ice baths, uh, you know, like LeBron James, he would do ice baths, or there's even things called, uh, mechanisms called cryotherapy, which is basically you submerge yourself in um, very, very cold uh, environment, right? Or you, you take a, like an ice bath, or you put yourself, you surround yourself in a very, um, you know, cold temperature to reduce the inflammation after you exercise because generally when you exercise or when you run or when you uh, play sports it's 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 a, it's it's inflammation it's causes inflammation in your body so what you want to do is you want to calm down that inflammation by submerging yourself or surrounding yourself in colder environments because ice is an anti-inflammatory it, it basically constricts your blood vessels which basically means that it's your blood vessels become smaller which then um, uh, reduces swelling in your system that's why when you when you um, you know when you hurt yourself or you get a bruise you put ice right for 15 to 20 minutes to calm down the swelling and as far as icing, just to swag away a little bit, you can ice throughout the day. You could ice for 15, 20 minutes, three to four times a day, especially for an ankle sprain, a knee sprain, a bruise, just to calm down the, your system. Um, number the third reason uh, of to shower is to reduce the lactic acid in your body because when you lift weights, when you run, when you ride your bike, uh, this increases lactic acid in your system and taking a lukewarm shower or showering with warm with you know uh, with um, warm temperature this can also reduce the lactic acid buildup in your muscles so long story short yes you can definitely um, shower after you exercise and there's no harm to it there's no direct correlation of what people call pasmo or spasms um, there's no direct correlation of getting sick when you extra uh, you shower after exercise uh, when you do have spasms spasms of the muscles is usually caused by weak or tight muscles right so uh, you I would, if I were to give a hypothetical guess, uh, the reason why you are in pain after you exercise is not because of the shower, it's because your muscles are either tight, they're, they're either weak, they need to be, so tight muscles need to be stretched, and weak muscles need to be strengthened. 
again, there's no direct correlation between, uh, you know, pain uh, of showering after exercising. That is an old wives' tale that is, that is not uh, scientific. There's no scientific um, answer to that. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, just to recap everything, number one, it is okay to shower after you exercise to for number one for hygiene number two it's okay to shower after you exercise to even take a cold shower to reduce the inflammation in your body because exercising is it's a stressor in your body it uh, promotes uh, inflammation throughout your body and what ice does is it's a it's an anti inflammatory it reduces the stress of your body so you can even look it up just google it uh, ice baths uh, with athletes after they uh, compete and there's even a guy in europe his name is wim hof um, you can even look it up wim hof w-i-m-h-o-f he advocates for cold showers uh, every day because what cold showers does it, it taking cold showers or ice baths it, it, it puts your body in a state of minute micro stress, which can increase the, your capacity to, um, to withstand stress. So try, you know, you can give it a shot, give, just Google it, uh, ice baths with Wim Hof. So try, you know, I would recommend taking a shower, cold showers for try 30 seconds and then increase that to a minute the next day and then the next week try two minutes and then progressively improve to maybe five to ten minutes, um, you know, every session. Um, what else? So, as far as exercising or or what you can do after you play basketball or you run or you jog or you cycle or you, you know for example you do crossfit or you lift weights what i recommend doing is cooling down going to you know before you even usually when you work out there's three systems to it you want to warm up first you know whatever you are doing because that's how you get injured if you don't warm up so, for example, you're going to play basketball. That's why when you see people who play basketball, they do like a little light jogging around the court. They would do layups. Uh, they wouldn't go directly do their sport right away because this can cause injuries. Uh, even runners, they would run around the, you know, the, the track first before they do a sprint. So that's what you want to do before you exercise. You want to warm up first. And then you do the activity that you want to do, maybe lifting, cycling, running. And then the third is you want to cool down. So that's the third step of exercising, cool down. So you can cool down either by um, walking, slow walking. If you're, so for example, if you're running or jogging, then you try um, walking. You know, go to a slow jog and then you walk for maybe five to 10 minutes, you'll know that you're calming down because you won't feel your heart racing really, really fast. If you're a cycler, if you like to bike, then you wanna bike really like slower than your normal pace. Um, if you, you know, you play basketball, then you wanna just walk around the court or you just wanna just, you know, pace yourself. You don't wanna do you don't want to completely stop right away. You want to give, allow your body to, to relax, um, to avoid uh, lightheadedness or dizziness because your blood pressure can significantly drop after you exercise really quick. I know that's a segue. I hope uh, that answered your questions that about showering after exercising. Uh, I'm going to recap the whole thing again. Um, it's okay to shower after you exercise. Uh, because uh, number one for your hygiene it reduces the risk of infection of bacteria around your body and number two it it's a form of cool down and to relax your muscles and to reduce the inflammation in your body 
All right, guys. If you have hi, Isa Musta. <laughs> if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below um, regarding showering or you know pasmo or spasms, anything like that. Feel free to shoot me a comment. Um, you can go on my YouTube, Dr. Kyle. I have a bunch of videos about back pain. I just you know just simple basic things that you can do you can do at home to reduce pain and um, improve the way you move uh, you can also check out my instagram i have a bunch of videos there as well and uh, yeah or you could shoot me a comment here about um, exercising or anything that about your body or um, about your health i'm here for you and I uh, just want to let you guys know that I just came back from the Philippines. I miss you guys. I miss y'all. I miss the food. I miss the people. I miss every everything about it. Um, but I'm back in the game. I'm here to create more videos, create more content to, uh, you know, to get you pain free. And at the same time to, uh, if I could spare you from going to the hospital by doing these basic things every single day, I'm, I'm, that makes me... You know that that drives me to do more more of these so if you have any more questions shoot me a comment i know i, I know i already said that but uh you know that's it take care uh god bless have a good day guys bye